Well, this morning on a special square off, for the very first time ever, you will meet attorney Barry Glazer, whose success is recognized nationwide. One article saying it may not be pretty, but Barry Glazer gets the job done like a pro. I'm Richard Scheer, here in the Best Buy Waterproofing Studios, and ladies and gentlemen, it is time to square off. And Square Off is brought to you by Andrew A. Altman's award-winning Best Buy Waterproofing. Our basements now dry, folks, because of Best Buy Waterproofing. Call Andrew at 1-844-980-3707. And by the law offices of Barry Glazer, whose TV commercials have made him something of a legend in the legal profession. In fact, this is why back in 2010, Baltimore Magazine crowned Barry Glazer the best pitch man there is. I am sick and tired of these insurance companies telling you what good neighbors they are and how you're in such good hands. If your car is totaled and you owe more than it's worth, they give you the lesser amount, and you continue to pay a finance company the difference. You're an innocent victim, you're paying on a car you don't have, and you probably can't afford another car. Don't urinate on my leg and tell me it's raining. Insurance companies, we're going to court. Barry Glazer, legal advocate for the injured, disabled, and urinated upon. All right, we're excited about this. Barry Glazer, shake my hand. It's delightful to have you here, and we appreciate you being one of our co-sponsors. Oh, well, it's my delight and my pleasure to and be with you. It is a pleasure. Now, you, you, uh, your commercials, to say the least, are unorthodox. Uh, no other lawyer does what you do. No other lawyer is as successful as you are. And before we get into you, and uh, because you've never done an interview where people find out what makes you tick, just a, a word or two about what's happening in the city with Mayor Pugh. Uh, actually, I feel sorry for Mayor Pugh. She's obviously devastated by all this, and she's recovering from pneumonia. Um, I just think that uh, she's not as good as what some of the other politicians. Uh, I think they all do about the same thing, but she's just not that good at it. All right. That's, a, that's honest, and that's your opinion. Now, you, you mentioned uh, earlier or, or in the green room that you grew up in a blue-collar neighborhood. You told me that uh, in law school, some of the more affluent kids treated you differently. What does that mean? Because you weren't rich like they were? Well, the law, in law school, it was, wasn't so bad. In, in high school and junior high school is when it was pretty bad. I didn't have the same clothes that uh, the fellow students had. There was a higher income group when I went to Pimlico Junior High and City College. Um, I grew up in a couple blocks below Cold Spring Lane in Pimlico in the 60s, and my parents uh, couldn't move, and then the neighborhood was going down the tubes, and we couldn't get out. So I grew up there until I was about 19, and my life was pretty much surrounded by lower-income people. Which you are champion now, and, and, and which is why you do uh, do so, so well at your profession, but your mother uh, was, was very special in your life. She pushed you to go to college and to do what what you've become. Tell me about your mom and your relationship with her. Well, my instinct was to party pretty much. Uh, I like to get involved with some of the kids that look how good looking you were. <laughs> I assume that you on the left. Yeah, that is me. Mom on the right. What was yeah. her name? Edith. And Dad? Meyer. So your mom was really, you were Mama's boy, I guess. Not exactly. Well, whatever she, you were. She, she would oversee everything I did and watched out for what I did and made sure I, I was uh, at home on time. And, but she'd give me a bad time. I wasn't the best kid growing up. I, I did uh, extend the rules a little bit. How? I used to like to party, and I would be out late. Um, and that, t that went on for a while. I lived there, I lived with my parents until I was about 22. And uh, during that time, I was, uh, I liked to play around, but I also felt 
and my mother drove that into my head that it was super important to go to school and to get through school. So I tried to do both and I was able to do it. It wasn't easy, but I did it. How did law come into your mind and how did you decide that you were going to be as unorthodox as you are? You understand that you know people stop you on the street. Uh, Karen, our director, wants to take a selfie with you. <laughs> that, you know, people at Shock Trauma, there are nurses there who watch the show, not just for the content, but for your commercials. So did you always want to be a lawyer? And how did that come about in your mind? Well, uh, right now I have money, but when I was growing up, I did not have a lot of money. And money was the main factor for me. That was the main driving force. I started working when I was six or seven, and I always had a strong desire to have money. My father felt it was super important. He believed people, people's intelligence was measured by how much money they had, yeah. and he didn't have much, and he always seemed to feel inferior about that. But now, you, you've got the money. I've got as much as I need, and uh, I'm not real super greedy. I, don't, I, I have enough that I'll, I'll be comfortable for quite a while, and I'm, my kids will be comfortable. In the commercials, um, in one of them, you said, I, I'm in it, no, I'm not in it for the money, I, ha I am rich, I'm in to get revenge. <laughs> what, d define what that revenge is in those commercials. Well, what it is, you, 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 I mean, you get really ticked off at people being, uh, you, well, I won't say urinated upon, but uh, at least taken advantage of. Well, it's, it's poor people. In that one commercial where I say, don't urinate on my leg and tell me it's raining, it's... It's one of those issues that uh, comes up all the time in the lower income neighborhoods. They end up paying a lot more for their cars than what they're worth. They end up paying finance charges that are way higher than uh, your average person. And when their car is totaled, the law only requires that the defendant to pay the value of the car at the time that the car is totaled. Typically, the value of the car is worth a whole lot less than what they originally paid for it. So they end up in debt, and they did nothing wrong. Somebody uh, struck their car, totaled their car. I had a client that was sleeping at the time, and a drunk totaled his car. He ended up owing $6,000. I took that all the way up to the Court of Appeals, but they didn't want to hear it. That's all. Uh, that uh, they wanted to say was, you know, you have to pay what's, uh, what the uh, standard rate is today. And poor people are stuck with that. And they end up really in an awful situation because they now don't have a car and uh, they owe, this one owed $6,000. And were you able to help them at all? Not really, no. Nope. I couldn't. I tried. I did everything I could, but the Court of Appeals didn't want to hear it. I thought maybe they didn't relate to lower-income people, so I tried to um, frame it in such a way that it would be a house that would burn, be burnt down, and it was underwater, and now you owe money on it, and somebody burned your house right. down. We're going to pause for just a moment. It's great to have Barry Glazer on the program. You'll never see him again being interviewed, but you will see him on commercial. We'll be back in just a moment. Do you have water coming into your basement, moisture and mildew issues, or a sump pump that isn't working? Nothing ruins a home or office quicker than water damage. It's time to contact Best Buy Waterproofing. Our certified team of waterproofing technicians are moisture control experts. Call us for a free inspection. And please, call us before the water rises. Best Buy Can you believe the medical profession has come out against medical marijuana cards for drug addicts? How greedy can you get? Horse sweepers used to lobby against cars. What horse do they have in this race? Lost profits from prescribing addictive and deadly methadone? Doctor, you are making me sick and rich. Barry Glazer, legal advocate for the injured, disabled, and medically abused.
Meet home improvement expert Tim Munson from AES Builder and Home Improvements. For 30 years, we have specialized in custom kitchens, bathrooms, additions, siding, and more. And at AES, it's all about integrity and doing what's right for their customers. We refuse to bid to subcontractors and give a five-year free labor warranty on all of our award-winning work. Call 1-800-787-7283 or aeshome.us. And remember, when AES is done, you'll be happy. And if you're not happy, we're not done. More than a decade ago, Barry Glazer was named one of the top attorneys in North America by the Who's Who directories. This past fall, Interview Magazine featured a few, just a few, of America's most successful attention-getting attorneys. Barry Glazer is one of them. Barry, what do you attribute this great success to? Well, I work hard. Um and my commercials definitely help, uh, but I've been doing it, I've probably been advertising for almost 40 years, so people have grown up watching my commercials. And um, I try to be fair and honest, and uh, I don't try to take advantage of my clients. I try to do as best I can for my clients. How do you think of these ideas? These Cause, Because people always say, oh, Barry Glazer, man, that Barry Glazer. But your phones ring off the hook. We know you have five attorneys who are in court all the time or settling cases because you are their, you know, their champion. So what do you think about, th about that? Well, I'm happy about it. I'm glad. No, I, I know that. <laughs> but what do I think about what? Well, first of all, what people don't realize is that you have a medical doctor on staff. That is Dr. Michael Van Luen. Van Luen? Van Oh, Van Luen. That's right. And he's a, he, I, here's a picture. I was in your office uh, a couple of weeks ago talking to him. What advantage is that to have a medical doctor on staff? It's a huge advantage because he can filter out the cases that uh, that I'm not going to be able to be successful And They make it extremely difficult to pursue a medical malpractice case. You can only uh, use certain experts. It's cost a fortune to pursue a medical malpractice case, which is why I like representing some of the poor clients, they ordinarily would never be able to pursue a medical malpractice case. You have to get experts to review everything. Then if you have to go to trial, you might have to fly an expert in, keep him overnight, pay for his testimony. It becomes super expensive. So how do you decide what's a good case, what's a bad case? I let the doctor decide whether or not we can get the case to a jury. If we can get the case to a jury, I'll take the case. As I mentioned earlier, you've always been a champion, I've used that word a lot, of those uh, who are taken advantage of, and many of your commercials reflect this. Let's take a look at this. Shunbeck, you have a gift. You must use your gift to benefit the disadvantaged, the working people. Although you'll never experience the blue collar life, it is your roots, it's in your DNA, and never forget. As long as there are big corporations and insurance companies, there will always be the urinated upon. Love the spot. <laughs> and the beautiful child in that Glazer Mershal. I call them now Glazer Mershals. Is that all right with you? <laughs> that's, that's fine. That's your son, Schoenbeck. Schoenbeck, yes. Schoenbeck. You call him Sean? Sean. And you have a gorgeous family. Thank you. You have to be very proud of that beautiful family of yours. Who's the other child? The other child is Braxton. He's uh, six. He'll be seven this month. And your wife? You, wife. you don't have to give her age, but uh... <laughs> that's in the day. You call her Naughty. We we've been together over eleven years. Why'd you use your son in that? He loves that, right? I'm sure he's enjoying watching him on TV today. I did it actually. There was a commercial way back with the Woods golfer, and his father was talking to him. Tiger. Tiger Woods, right? During, and, and it was probably about ten. It was about eight years ago, and it is. It never played that much. I saw it on the news, and I thought it might be interesting to do a commercial similar to that. So basically, that was the inspiration. But the words that are said are basically what I truly feel, and I, I would like to see Shumbeck uh, continue on with what I'm doing. Glazer and Sean. 
Sean Beck, I don't know if I'll be around when that happens, but I'll like be around be, a long time. I hope so. Longer than Square Off, maybe? I don't know. But one of your newer Glazer commercials is quite effective. Yet, folks, there's some TV sc uh, stations here in the town who will not air this commercial. So let's take a look at one of those, and we'll talk about it. Scaffold. Scaffold. Aren't you gonna put me to sleep first? This will only take a minute. Oh, wrong organ again! Make sure Glazer don't hear about this. Is your doctor cutting corners and treating you worse than a dog? Barry Glazer, legal advocate for the injured, disabled, and medically abused. All right, so why won't some of the stations run that? What is the objection to that? Oddly enough, that commercial, they made me blur the liver out. They said it was too graphic. And that commercial was going to be played on The Walking Dead. Right now, I think we're in a, a state where everything is extreme, and it probably has a, a result of, uh, of the president, Donald Trump. He's, he's insulted everybody, um, Latins, uh, Jews, immigrants, dis disabled people, all the protected classes. And um, he says, the most outrageous words on TV. And as a result, it seems that the other side has now gone to the other extreme. And we have a situation now where Joe Biden might get disqualified for kissing somebody's head five years ago that he was uh, assisting in, uh, in her run for, uh, for, I think she was running for a delegate or something. And that might disqualify him. And uh, How Trump, do you feel about that? It's, it's uh, just a terrible reaction to what's taking place. Uh, O'Rourke had to apologize because he said that he's a part-time babysitter. It's just getting ridiculous. It's ridiculous on both ends. There's extremes on both ends, and I believe it's a consequence of uh, Donald Trump. I think he sets the tone for the country, and what's taking place is everybody's on ex total extremes. They've, they've, uh, the last four commercials I've done there's either one station or another station or a network that's made me either change it or refuse to run it. Some, some of them will run some of the commercials, but all of them have changed. All right, we'll be back with more of your commercials and more talk with Barry Glazer in just a moment. It's 11 o'clock at night. It's raining cats and dogs, and you just noticed water in your basement. Call Best Buy Waterproofing at 844-980-3707. We're available 24-7 to answer your call. If you have water coming into your basement, moisture and mildew issues, or a sump pump that isn't working, call us for a free inspection. And please, call us before the water rises. Best Buy Aren't you gonna put me to sleep first? This will only take a minute. Oh, wrong organ again! Make sure Glazer don't hear about this. Is your doctor cutting corners and treating you worse than a dog? Barry Glazer, legal advocate for the injured, disabled, and medically abused. Unwind, dine in or carry out tonight at Pappas Restaurant. Chef specialties include seafood, steaks, pasta, or their colossal crab cakes. The winner of numerous awards and honored in Oprah's favorite things. Dine in the restaurant or the sports bar with widescreen TVs and taps of fresh craft beer. Pappas, for special occasions. Plan private dining for 20 to 150 people or let Pappas cater your event. Pappas Restaurant and Sports Bar, your crab cake territory and craft beer destination. All right, we're back. There he is. Barry, who's that? Who's that dog? Uh, that's, uh, that's a new dog I got about four months ago. We call her Bella. She's uh, actually got her from a, a family that uh, were, were moving, and they, they couldn't bring the dog. All my dogs are some type of situation like that. You've, al you've always been a... People, I don't know if they know that. I mean, not only you are a fighter for the less uh, fortunate, you are very much into dogs, saving dogs and dog rescues. This will endear you to uh, all, all the people that are watching because there are tons of dog lovers. 
Where did that come from? We have a picture of you, in fact, when you were a, a younger kid with a dog. Who's this? Who's that on the left? <laughs> that's me in my younger years. And that's a, a dog I found on the street. It was a great dog. It was one of my favorites. I took her to Mexico with me. We drove to Mexico, slept on the, we had a, a, a tent on the top of the car that would unfold and we slept up there. Tell us about your love of dogs and where that came from. I'm crazy about dogs. I think they have all the good things that people have and none of the bad. And uh, I just hate the fact that they're put down regularly. I have a rescue called Stop Killing Dogs. And last year I tried to get legislation. I hired a lobbyist uh, to try to get some legislation to make it difficult for, uh, for them to put down dogs when they pick them up. And, uh, but I, I didn't get anywhere with that. I'm still trying. What, do you can, what can you do then? What do you suggest uh, that, that they do with these, these dogs? Well, there's a place in Costa Rica that uh, a woman has, she keeps 2,000 rescues, and somehow she manages to do it. I've tried to get in touch with her to figure out how she does it, but uh, they're, they're kept kind of freely. They're not in cages or anything, and she has a, a several people that work it, but she's able to keep 2,000 dogs. I grew up with German Shepherds. You gave me a picture of one. Uh, wh who's this dog that we have? Who's that with the, <laughs> with the silver plate? <laughs> <laughs> That's Greta. That's, uh, I've had her about three years. That's another one that uh, somebody couldn't keep. It was a couple that split up. It's a great dog. And I just love German Shepherds. I love all dogs, really. What, you know, we have done news stories tragically about people who, who really uh, abuse animals. I mean, you see, we've, we've done stories here on uh, Fox 45 News, dog, dog that was burned, you know, or a dog that was tortured, or a cat that was hanged. I mean, what, what is it about that, that, uh, that drives people to injure animals like that, do you think? I have no idea. I don't understand. And then, you know, you got situations where they do the worst things to people, where they're, they kill people in church and synagogues, and there's no explaining what happens when somebody gets that horrible. I, I just think it's a defect, a mental defect. All right, we have uh, this, uh, another commercial that, let me see, is this one that they don't run? Yes. This is one of the commercials that uh, they do not run, or some do run, uh, some of them, uh, including this one. Let's take a look at this one. There was a slight mix-up in the operating room. Your husband's vasectomy chart got switched with a sex change patient. Basically, your husband is now your wife. Look at it this way. Your kids now have two moms. If your doctor tries to put a positive spin on a negative result, bring your medical records to my office and I'll have a staff doctor review them free. I tell you, you're smiling. I mean, they're, they're terrific commercials. Thanks. <laughs> when you see that one, what do you think about it? I, I just... I think it's funny. I, I don't know how anybody gets offended by that, but people have been offended by that. I think... It's just a strange time that we're in right now. People are getting offended by everything, and then other people don't get offended by anything. So I, I just, uh, it's a, just a strange time. Censorship really bothers you, and the fact that people are editing uh, this and that, and uh, nothing seems to get, you could talk about the, Mo the Mueller report. I mean, you know, he turned it over to the attorney general, and everyone's waiting to see all of it. The censorship issue has always been one that bothers you a lot. Can you elaborate on that a little well, bit? Well, yeah, when it's affecting me, it really bothers me. I work uh, hard on these commercials, and it's like a creative piece of me. And then when they start messing with them or telling me they can't run them because they're offensive, it's really irritating, especially when you have the president of this country offending everybody and saying the worst. I've heard him say the F word on TV. They won't let me say shit. I said, um, weepers used to lobby against cars in one of my commercials, and they have to, I had to put a beep at I don't, you know, I don't get it. He says everything, 
and it, they, it doesn't get beeped out, and he gets away with it, and there's no problem with we'll it. We'll see if uh, it gets beeped out in this Yeah, show. I'm wondering. I, you just, I didn't know you were going to say that. Otherwise, I would have taped your mouth. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just kidding. So what's in the future for you? You want your son maybe to follow in the footsteps. You certainly are an unorthodox uh, attorney, but very successful. What are your plans for the future? You're going to keep doing this stuff. And what are your specialties beside medical malpractice? What else if people call your office? Well, I have five lawyers, and some of them just spe uh, do specialized uh, work. One does pretty much workers' compensation. Another one just does minor criminal. I don't do major criminal work. Um, bankruptcy, we do. We, I cover most everything. And your numbers, uh, we know, um, this is just in case you want to call Barry. Does somebody answer it on Sundays? Can you, uh, is there an answering service 24-7? Yeah, 24 hours a day, there's some, there's a uh, answering voicemail, and then once you leave your number, it, it calls directly to a cell phone, and somebody answers it. And then that's 410-547-8568? Uh, you got it. All right. So I know that people actually are now stopping in, in front of Barry's office. If, if he's not there, they take pictures of your, of your canopy there with Barry Glazer. I've seen that happen, yes. And people stop you on the street, they want to take pictures with you? They want to take selfies, some do, yeah. How do, how do you like that celebrity part of this? I'm sure you never thought about that. <laughs> At first I was embarrassed about it. I used to have an ad with my picture on a supermarket cart, and I stopped going to the supermarket. But uh, after years, I actually enjoy it. It's great to have you on, and we'll be back in just a moment. It's been wet weather all month long, and you've just noticed mold and moisture damage in your basement. Call Best Buy Waterproofing at 844-980-3707. We'll send out a certified basement waterproofing technician to inspect your water issues and explain what it'll take to fix them. Free of charge. We're waterproofing professionals. It's all we do. And please, call us before the water rises. Best Buy From water and sewer line replacement to water heater service and installation, Scardina has helped homeowners for more than 60 years. Sing for Scardina. Scardina. We're not as young as we used to be, but we still want to feel young. Sometimes life throws us a curveball and we need some rehabilitation. That's when you'll want the rehab team of specialists at Vital Strong by Future Care. VitalStrong uses state-of-the-art equipment like the OmniCycle with biofeedback, the Alter-G utilizing zero gravity and even virtual reality. Whatever your rehabilitation needs may be, VitalStrong by FutureCare will get you home faster and stronger. Can you believe the medical profession has come out against medical marijuana cards for drug addicts? How greedy can you get? Horse sweepers used to lobby against cars. What horse do they have in this race? Lost profits from prescribing addictive and deadly methadone? Doctor, you are making me sick and rich. Barry Glazer, legal advocate for the injured, disabled, and medically abused. From replacing leaky faucets and cleaning drain lines to heating and cooling service, Scardina has helped homeowners for more than 60 years. Sing for Scardina. Scardina. A reminder that Square Off is made possible by Andrew A. Altman's award-winning Best Buy waterproofing. Call 1-844-980-3707. Stay dry with Best Buy waterproofing and by the law offices of Barry Glazer. Taking the bullies to court and winning for you. A medical doctor's right on staff. Call 410-547-8568. Coming up next Sunday, another Square Off special as Michael Steele, former Maryland Lieutenant Governor, former head of the Republican National Committee, a rock star in the GOP, MSNBC superstar and a good friend of ours, makes a return visit to Square Off, the only local television show he does now, Barry. You and Michael Steele are the only two that do this. And boy, do we have a lot to talk about. Next Sunday, Michael Steele at 11 a.m. <clears throat> Dana, how much time we have? 30 seconds. Give you 15 seconds to tell us how great 
this experience has been for you? It's been tremendous. I love you and I love being with you and I always enjoy your company and this has been a, a really great experience for me. Well, I know people enjoyed hearing and meeting you. We'll see you next Sunday at 11. Michael Steele right here on the CW Baltimore Square Off. Bye-bye. Thank you.